Welcome to the third in a series of training capsules designed to familiarize you with the essentials of hygiene and sanitation in the school environment. This capsule is intended to explain the terms high touch and low touch by going through examples of how each type of surface needs to be cleaned, how often, and the appropriate technique for each type of surface. Surfaces fall into one of two categories, high touch or low touch. What distinguishes the two is the type and frequency of touches. High touch surfaces are defined as places where there is regular or frequent direct physical contact, skin to surface. High touch surfaces are more likely to be contaminated. High touch surfaces should be cleaned and disinfected every two to four hours, at least three times a day when the spaces are in use. Some examples of high touch surfaces are door handles, light switches, stair rails, and faucets. The use of sprays should always be minimized in traffic areas, and the vaporizer should be adjusted to use a large droplet when sprayed. This will reduce the risk of potential irritations to the respiratory systems. Low touch surfaces are ones that are rarely in direct physical contact and are typically defined as secondary contact surfaces. This means that contamination travels through the air before making contact. Example of low-touch surfaces are floors, walls, windows, and bathroom ceramics. Low-touch surfaces should be cleaned at least once a day when the areas are in use. Floor surfaces should be washed with a damp mop or by auto scrubbers once a day. For each type of room that you are in, you need to identify the surfaces that need to be cleaned. For each surface, the correct combination of product and tool needs to be considered. Clean the dirty surface to remove all visible debris and stains first, and then wipe with a clean towel. If the surface is already clean, you can immediately apply the disinfectant directly to the clean surface. Let the disinfectant solution act for a few minutes, according to the manufacturer's instructions, before wiping off any traces of product using a clean cloth. First, fold the cloth in half, then fold the cloth in half a second time, that way when used, it will give you eight clean surfaces to use for each cloth. Before the used side is completely soiled, turn the cloth over to obtain a new clean surface. Start the cleaning from the cleanest part of the area and move your way to the dirtier areas. This capsule reviewed the different types of surfaces within a school environment. Stay tuned for our next capsule that summarizes the cleaning tasks specific to each type of room found in our schools.